What's going on guys, Jack here, and today we are going to be covering a topic that, you know, I haven't actually talked about in a while, I haven't looked into for quite some time, and that's going to be using Google Analytics with Redbubble to generate more sales and how you can use it to your benefit to really analyze what's going on there and using the data that they give you, how you can turn that into some more sales. But before we get right into the video, I just want to ask you guys to please smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. And with all that being said, let's get right to it. All right, so first things first, you are going to need to have your Redbubble set up with your Google Analytics before you go over to check your stats. You're going to want to have it set up for, you know, a few days, about a week. And if you don't know how to set it up or you need to know how to set it up, I have a video down in the description. It's two or three minutes long and it will walk you through everything you need to know to set up your Google Analytics. Then you can come to your home tab over here and then you'll be on this page right here with me. So how can you get more sales with Google Analytics you might be asking? Well, on your tab when you come to Google Analytics you can see a lot of data and at first it just shows you the last seven days and the amount of users been to your shop along with the sessions. And this tells you how many people are viewing your listings, have seen around your shop, and recently for me, it has been a bit slower in the past 28 days. 259 people have visited my shop. If we go back 90 days, you're going to see I had a big peak back in November of about 189 people in one week. So the last 90 days, I've had 1.2K. And in the last 28 days, I've only had about, you know, 20% of that. So that is because January's came along and Q4 has ended. That is okay. And that's okay if your guys' shop's looking like this too. I don't expect it not to. But yeah, things are going to pick back up. I just want to let you guys know that. However, if we go to new here, you can also see the traffic channel. So you can see how people are viewing your listings, how people are seeing your things. If I go back to the last 90 days, there's going to be able to tell, like, did they search directly on Redbubble? So that's the direct traffic. Did they search on Redbubble to find your listings? Most of my traffic is direct. Most of them are from people searching on Redbubble. However, there's a lot of paid search, which means Redbubble is basically retargeting people who have already seen my listings and they are putting ads in front of them or people have been on Redbubble and they're putting ads in front of those people to get them back to Redbubble to buy my things. And then there's organic search, which is pretty much Google or any other search engines. I think Pinterest sometimes basically Redbubble advertises your things on other platforms so that are off of Redbubble and then they bring people to your site. Um, this kind of organic search, however, is very like, as it says, organic, it's just Redbubble's system ranking in search engines pretty much and your listings are showing up in those search engines. All right, and it's, if you scroll down a little bit more on your Google Analytics, you're gonna see that you can also see, you know, which country people are from. This is also pretty useful. However, that's not really what I'm gonna show you guys today. All these things are just, you know, so you know what they are. I'm just trying to explain it to you if you don't already know. And pretty much you can see by whatever metrics you want, you can even set a custom date where most of your audience is coming from. Mine is the United States and then United Kingdom, Canada, Morocco, and India. But United States is the high majority because there's a lot more visitors and a lot more people in the United States on the internet in general. So the thing I want to show you guys, if we scroll down here, and I'm going to have to blur this out because I don't want to give away my shop. But if we go in down here, you are going to have this page that says, which pages your users visits and on this page this is so useful because you can see even if you are making sales and you're having some traffic you can see which listings are driving your traffic and this is very very useful because you can go and look at this even the last seven days you're gonna have multiple things and also yes some of it is like the cart pages but a lot of it is your listings and you can see basically just by hovering over and reading you know which listings are getting traffic which listings, how many views they have, how good they are doing. And this is really, really useful because you can see which listings are getting views. And even if they're not making sales, which a lot of the times they will be if they're getting a good amount of views, like seven, five in the last seven days, they're probably made a sale. At least a lot of mine do. And you can use that and you can go further into it. So if you have like 20 designs in a certain niche and a lot of them are getting views, page views in the last seven days or the last 30 days, we can change this. Uh, you're going to see like I have certain things here that are consistently getting views. I should probably go back and make more of those, which I have done. But even now I can still do that because new listings gain more traffic. And as time goes, you're going to have more listings that are, you know, coming up here more frequently. So when you find a listing that comes up here a lot, 
or has a lot of page views, go back to that listing and make more designs and especially if something is selling, make more designs of it. But if even if it's getting a lot of views because sometimes you know we can't get that sale. But if you can get a lot of page views, you know that niche is hot, you know you're getting your listing in front of people, so the competition must not be too fierce and your design must be pretty decent if people are clicking on it and going to it. So once you see that on this page that your designs are getting hits, they're getting looked at, go back to that niche that that design's in and make something very similar, kind of mix it up and make more opportunities for that niche or that type of design to get seen. And it's free to post on Redbubble, so design quickly, post it, and you have even more chances to pretty much double your success. Just double down on what you're doing that is working, right? All these things right here, they are getting paid views. So I'm gonna double down and go back and make more of them, especially for Redbubble. That is a very valuable thing you can do if you want to, you know, if you run out of ideas or you don't know what to do, if you have like 300 designs up, you're gonna have some things that are doing a lot better than other designs. So go back to those and then design more of those and you're gonna be able to see even more page views to those types of listings because you already know they work. So yeah, that is the one way that I really do like to use Google Analytics to just see if things are working, see how things are working and you know, really see like, okay, this is working. I can go back and double down on that now. And I really like Google Analytics for that. Other than that, I don't really use Google Analytics. I don't go too far into things. Sometimes you can click the uh, the pages report and actually see more than like the eight results. So that's also useful. However, it's the same concept. Basically, you can see what's getting page views in the past seven, 28 days, however many days. And you can go and then go back to those niches, go back to those designs and make more of those whether it be a variation or a completely different design, you can make more of those to get more traffic to your shop, more traffic to your listings, and especially this. If you have a niche shop, doing this is so useful because you can see which type of designs in your niche are getting traffic. So for me, a general shop, driving people to my shop directly doesn't benefit me as much as it would for someone who has a niche shop where all the designs in there are the same target audience. So if you have a niche shop, this is even especially more helpful and I myself have been starting up a niche shop recently, so I'm going to cover more of that in the earnings on that later. But I really think this is a very useful tool to get the ball rolling in the right direction and really just build up some massive momentum. I also want to remind you guys that on Redbubble, you can go to your dashboard and scroll down to the bottom where I am right now. And you're going to see you can also see your audience traffic sources. And this is actually really useful as well. You know, it's not as useful as Google Analytics, but you can see the same data of where your traffic's coming from. And you can see if Redbubble is promoting most of your listings and the direct traffic is obviously on search results from Redbubble, but this is like a more in-depth view of where your traffic's coming from. And not only can you see where it's coming from, you can see, you know, if it's trending upwards and obviously mine has dipped since the end of December, but my traffic like has been doubling, right? It went really high. It's been getting good. And the more your traffic's going up, the more motivated you're going to be, right? So if you look back on your traffic, even though in November I actually earned more than December, my traffic doubled in December, meaning that a lot of my listings are gaining some organic rank, they're gaining some direct traffic, and this is motivating to me, and I think it should be to you too. If you see that your traffic's going up because your designs are going up too, uh, that's actually a good indicator that your shop is getting more sales or your shop is moving forwards, right? So if you can see your traffic going up, even if your sales aren't going up dramatically, you're going to notice that as your traffic goes up over time, you're going to generate more sales because you have more products that are ranking organically. And this is really, really useful, especially when you're thinking about like, oh, I'm not making any sales. You know, I should probably just stop. It's not working out. Look back at your traffic and see like my traffic doubled in December from November, even though my sales didn't show a doubling of like profit like it doesn't really matter because my traffic was so high that a lot of my listings are getting seen by people which means even though january is like only halfway done and i don't have even half the traffic to like of december i know that january is a slower month and but i know that my listings are getting more organic rank over time they are showing up in front of more people and the more i design the more chances i have to get in front of other people so please keep that in mind when you are making you know designs for redbubble if you're thinking about stopping redbubble please don't there are a lot of reasons why you shouldn't, but pretty much things are going to go better and keep getting better as long as you're keeping 
at it and keep working towards more designs, researching more, you know, putting your best put forward in the print on demand scene and on Redbubble. Things take time, good things take time, they always do. So keep striving and I really hope you guys found this video useful in some kind of way. And if you made it to this point in the video, please comment down below the word winner, W-I-N-N-E-R, winner. If you did comment that down below, I'll hire your comment and I really appreciate you guys watching till this point in the video. If you can, please smash the like button, that would mean the world to me. And I hope you guys have a great freaking day. Stay blessed, keep striving, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Whew.